Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell the truth about silver. Today is Thursday the 26th of March 2020. And yesterday we produced or published a video entitled Market Update Silver Leads the Way Making Gains on Gold. Plus another video stating who said you cannot get silver at spot price and the day before how we bought gold today below spot as prices rise and we've provided links to all three of these in the description box below. Now we've promised each day to provide an update once the UK equity markets have closed and Wall Street has either closed or only has an hour or two left to go. Now at the time of producing this video podcast it is 1900 GMT which is two hours before Wall Street closes. So let's take a look at what's been happening. Well the Dow is up again some 1018 points which is a rise of 4.8 percent with the S&P 500 up 4.6 percent and the Nasdaq up 4 percent. This follows UK and European equity markets which were down initially but have recovered prior to closing with gains ranging from 1.3 percent to 2.5 percent and Asia Pacific markets were actually mixed overnight but most mainly down between 0.6 percent and 4.5 percent as in the case of the Nikkei 225. Now crude prices are down again with Brent crude down a dollar and currently stands at $26.39 a barrel and WTI crude down $1.79 at $22.70 a barrel. I've noticed again in going out to fill up the car with fuel this is now starting at last to filter through to the pumps. The dollar index took a bit of a hit today and is down 1.6 at 99.40 breaching the 100 level from above and we are now beginning as mentioned previously to be more comfortable with the dollar being positioned below 100 than we were when it was positioned above 100 though we are not ruling out that it may rise yet again but we suspect it might have a little further to go down short term. So looking at precious metals in dollar terms, gold is up $18 over the past 24 hours at $1,630 but has been as high as $1,645 but also as low as $1,597. Silver is up $0.06 cents at $14.47 being as high as $1,470 and as low as $1,420. So it's more or less midway. We pointed out yesterday to expect a seesawing of silver prices in particular as traders attempt to gauge where the silver price should actually lie or rest. Now in sterling terms gold is actually down 18 pounds at 1,342 and silver is down 25 pence. But this is clearly the result of the strength of sterling against the dollar or depending which way you look at it, the weakness of the dollar against sterling. But with the dollar index being down, it's also weaker against the euro and the other basket of currencies. Now, the important data announced today was the job figures. And this is what had the greatest impact on the market. Now, we hate to say this because we'll no doubt be accused of bragging and we're not doing it for that purpose whatsoever. But in our weekly update on Saturday, plus virtually every other daily update since then, we have said the job numbers due to be announced today will be the most important statistic of the week. And we think today has proven it. Nearly 3.3 million Americans applied for unemployment benefits last week, more than three times the previous record set in 1982. Apart from the dollar weakening, as shown in the dollar index 4 of nearly 2 points, we should expect to see gold benefit in dollar terms at least as a result. Now, if you can take the highs and the lows 
that will be associated with precious metals over the next couple of weeks, if not months, we are still favouring gold at this level. And although prices may drop back a little to 1600 and possibly to 1550 at some stage, we'd expect them also to rise up to and quite possibly above $1,700. This is a crucial time for the market and one in which the trend may indeed be set. Now let us forget all the pumpers telling you it's going to $5,000 or $10,000 anytime soon. We do not believe that for a second. However, we have stated that this decade will be the decade for gold and a steady rise to 1700 and then possibly to 1800 and if it does reach $2,000 this year, or within 12 months from now, no one can actually really complain. And if the opposite happens, and the global economy rebounds and gold dips to $1,500 or below, then in our view it will create a wonderful buying opportunity. We should all be realistic in our calculations, and not either be too pessimistic or too optimistic. The fact that you cannot currently obtain physical gold and silver need not cause too much distress as in six months time there is likely to be a fair amount available. At what price of course we do not know but we suspect that the premiums currently being paid will fall and even if the spot price is higher there should be very little difference give or take perhaps five to ten percent than what one would be paying now allowing for those premiums. Silver has strengthened a little, but has also been in the doldrums today as well. The whip sewing we mentioned earlier. The equation we have to attempt to calculate, or the assessment we have to try and make, is to what extent will the monetary demand for silver outweigh the drop in industrial demand for it? It's all very well becoming excited about its $2 plus recent rise. But at the same time we have to evaluate, is there a top to this in view of the global economic picture? Whilst we are very happy to pick up silver in the $12 to $15 range with limited premiums, once you start talking about $20 to $25 with premiums, we're far less excited. Sorry, but that is our view at present when purchasing basic bulk type silver or coins which are produced in the millions. Now finally, some good news for our Inner Sanctum members who have been a silver member for 12 months or more. The one ounce Illuminati silver round has been confirmed to be shipped tomorrow. Now we fully accept that depending wherever you are in the United States or around the world deliveries may be delayed or spasmodic. However we're informed by our supplier that the mail service has stated that as far as their collection and their dispatch is concerned this will be quite speedy. So much then depends at your end wherever you are located. So please be patient. For those who receive them if you'd like to do a brief video of them showing their arrival and send it to illuminatisilver at gmail.com with comments, we should be more than happy to produce a video showing a collage of these, but only if you wish to. Now we've decided not to place a letter inside the parcel, but just the coin in a capsule plus a card of authenticity. We would have liked to have produced a thank you letter and please find enclosed etc etc but frankly this would have delayed us again and we wanted these in your hands ASAP. Our next round is being designed as we speak. And when the mints receive their silver again, we shall be preparing for those who have been silver members for two years. There will be just 15 rounds available for members to buy, but bronze members will have first choice. The round will cost $80, including packaging and delivery. And bronze members who've been with us for a year can have it, as advertised on sign-up, at 40% off. In other words, for $48.
For those who are silver and bronze members who have not quite completed 12 months but intend to do so, please send us an email to illuminatisilver at gmail.com quoting your YouTube name and email address and we shall keep a coin for you ready upon qualification of 12 months membership. This is a 1 troy ounce 0.999 fine silver round with a proof like finish and there are only 100 of them in the world and there will only be 100 of them made and once again we shall show the video at the end of this podcast so that you may see what the round looks like. Remembering, please, it is silver and not gold, as the colour in the video is a little deceiving because of the lighting. For those who are not silver or bronze members, but would like an opportunity to acquire this coin, then please send us an email. And once the allocation to silver and bronze members have been confirmed, and we know how many we need to keep in reserve, we will let you know if you're able to acquire one on a first-come, first-served basis. We shall not be asking for any money, however, until we know exactly when they are able to be dispatched and will request those funds literally just a couple of days before dispatch. Now, frankly, we've really produced these for Inner Sanctum members as a thank you for their loyalty in subscribing. And so we ask other subscribers and members of our YouTube channel to forgive us for not producing more to sell. But as we have stated so often, we're not in the business of selling gold and silver. As if we were, it would more than likely influence our independence or be seen, really, to influence our independence and objectivity. Something we've often accused others of suffering from. And it would be hypocritical of us to do likewise. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel. Not forgetting to press the bell sign so that you're notified of future videos as and when they are published. Tomorrow we'll be publishing another video on our Richard and Greg channel, providing the latest geopolitical update. And once again, we hope that you will subscribe to that channel and again pressing that all elusive bell sign. So until tomorrow. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at illuminatisilver.com, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.